Hey guys, we have a little goat that has goat polio. We'll probably do a video a little bit later to talk about that. But right now the big uh, issue is he won't take a bottle and he won't eat. So we have to give him a tube. So we just thought we'd do a little video and show you uh, how we do it. We got this stomach tube from our local vet. Um, helps to get it a little bit wet in the milk. So I just try to hold the mouth open. We stop anytime he cries. Once she gets it all the way in there, I just kind of hold, let him keep his mouth from chewing on it, his teeth. We do a little push of milk. Make sure he doesn't cough. If he coughs, we pull it back out. And then go ahead and push the rest in once we're confident it's in the right place. It's good to put your finger over it while she's drawing up some more because sometimes if he pushes trying to get down or something, he'll squirt it back out of there. Is that it? Mm -hmm. And then we'll let him down to potty. <laughs> and a full belly. <laughs> we just got this from our vet. You can get them online as well. They were out. We tried to get them online a few weeks ago. Just the baby goat stomach, stomach tube, 60 cc syringe. And when you're trying to figure out how long it should be, we didn't have to trim, trim ours at all but you kind of place it up next to the goat and just behind the ribs where the stomach is, you kind of see, you can see about how long it should be. So this is about right for our goat. So we didn't have to trim it. I did trim the big end, um, the wide end so that this would fix down tight in there. That way you can pull and push. Um, so that was the only thing we did with that. When you start putting the tube in, they'll swallow and it'll go down the esophagus and not the trachea. If it goes into the trachea, you shouldn't be able to see it. When you insert the tube, you can see it kind of move down this left side. And um, if it goes in the trachea, you shouldn't be able to see that. So that's always reassuring to see and kind of feel before you push the fluids to make sure that they're not going in his lungs. Always make sure, you know, you're checking when you start pushing the fluids, is he coughing? Does it seem like it's in the wrong, in the wrong um, system? With thiamine deficiency, they'll have nystagmus in the eyes. So the eyes will kind of twitch back and forth.